Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, I wholeheartedly welcome you to Eat to Live Strong. Today is Wellness Wednesday. It is August 31st out of here. August 31st, 2022. And it is day 241 of multiple sclerosis, my daily diary. So guys, it is raw and cut footage. I don't edit the videos. Whatever I say, it sticks. And that's my interactions from the heart living with multiple sclerosis daily. Guys, as you know, there is a host of symptoms dealing with multiple sclerosis. And people sometimes think that we're drunk. But guess what? We're not drunk. We have MS, but it don't have me. So I'm going to go ahead and say for this Wellness Wednesday, yep, yeah, Got the curls, guys. We're going to go ahead and get in where we fit in by giving thanks to the man upstairs for this beautiful, wonderful Wednesday. Heavenly Father, I come before the throne today to say thank you so very much for waking each and every one of us up on this wonderful Wednesday. Thank you, Lord, for the continued blessings you lay upon each and every one of us and our health, our wealth, and much more. Thank you, Lord, for continuously healing all of us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Thank you, Lord, for opening my heart and my mind and pointing to my spirit the things I must speak about each and every day on my channel. Thank you, Lord, for my family, my friends, and my followers. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to make things right that we didn't make right before. With all these things we're asking and thanking you for, it is in your son's name, Jesus Christ, we're praying for them. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I love you. And the word has been spoken. So, yeah, Wellness, Wellness Wednesday. I take care of myself, guys. So, this is my curly, curly, curly for Wellness Wednesday. I am revamping my channel because apparently you guys like to see your girl in the kitchen cooking sometimes. And that's what I used to do before in the past. But when I started having a back-to-back -back MS symptoms, it just kind of cut me down. So, it's like I just got to push through this. So, on my channel each and every day, I'm going to do something that is beneficial. It's going to talk about MS, but just my symptoms just of the day. I'm not going to talk about all the symptoms I went to. If you want to know those, you have to go back and binge watch my channel. Otherwise, I'm just going to tell you the symptoms and things that I go through on that particular day. And then I'm going to go ahead and give you some, some nuggets, guys. I'm going to sprinkle some nuggets all over your channel. So we're going to go ahead today and just say my symptoms today. Key symptom is still a thumbs up. And then right now, it's still the gate. The gate is just... Hellified. The gate just ain't want to do right at all. So my gate is still I'm wobbling and things like that. And it's got me like wanting to hold on to shopping carts and things. But guess what, guys? I am refusing to walk with a cane. I'm refusing to use a wheelchair or a walker. I'm refusing to do that. I'm just going to fight this through just like the warrior that I am. Um, and see, so we got the gate and then fatigue. I am like suddenly just fatigued, like out of this world, crazy fatigue. So those are the two symptoms I'm going to talk about today was the gait and fatigue. But you know what? I'm going to wash that out because you know what? It is what it is and I'm not going to let it slow me down. So guys, that is my symptom stuff for today. Giving key symptoms the thumbs up still and then the symptoms. So what you're about to see is a snippet of something that we all should be doing. And some of you guys may already do it. Uh, it took a while for me to do it to that extreme measure. But um, because we grow a lot of our food here... But looking at, from what I've learned and what I know, I've decided to go ahead and put this video out. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And like I said, if you're doing it, we're on the biggest platform in the whole world. Please go ahead and share it out because somebody out there just may not know. So just share it out. So it's nothing contradicting. It's nothing bad. It's just something that we should all be doing because of the times that we're living in. We just need to take care of it. So um, without saying anything else, I'm going to go ahead and show you this clip of what I did today. And then I'll come back and say goodbye to you guys. All right. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you share it out. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, you're probably saying we know how to do this. But yeah, unless she's just doing some ASMR, not. What I'm telling you here is that I don't know, as a child, you probably remember, or even as an adult, people say, always rinse your vegetables and fruit and things before you eat them. Yeah, rinsing is fine, and that's according to the CDC, but an extra measure of protection would be to use the apple cider vinegar with the mother in your vegetables or your fruit just to clean it off because there's soil and dirt that you want to get the impurities off because that's where a lot of the disease come from. And that's according to the CDC and the National Institute of Health, as well as WebMD. Just two caps of apple cider vinegar with the mother on your fruits and vegetables, rinse it thoroughly, will do the trick. It will keep you healthier. You see with the pesticides as well, you can see the coating on your fruits. You can feel the dirt. So just make sure you put it in that water and rinse it thoroughly.
and you can see all of the particles in the water that could be dirt it could actually be part of the strawberry or the grapes or even the stem but you need to wash that stuff off and a lot of people are like well i don't eat the stem but you still need to get that stuff off of your fruits and vegetables i use this for my cucumbers i use it for my apples i use it for my lettuce i rinse with apple cider vinegar thoroughly each and every time i should have stock in apple cider vinegar with the mother because i use it it is really a great staple to have in your home you get all of the impurities off and you take it and do a second wash oh not wash but a rinse you want to rinse it off a second time around just to make sure that any of the particles that's in that water or on that vegetable or fruit you're going to make sure that you get it off so get a second rinse now you don't put the apple cider vinegar on a second time unless your item is con completely filled with dirt and particles in the water so make that judgment and you don't have to do two caps of apple cider vinegar it could be one you make that judgment based on the actual item that you're putting in the um, process for rinsing it out You will taste the difference in your fruits and your vegetables because they're clean and you actually get to enjoy the fruit for what it is not so much a dirty piece of fruit so yes please make sure you are rinsing and washing your fruits and vegetables thoroughly see all the particles that are still in the water and it goes for a second rinse and when i finished the strawberries were delicious but you see all the particles in there the water is not as clean as it should be so aren't you worth a couple of seconds more just by rinsing with some apple cider vinegar you will feel better and your food will taste great so give it a try okay guys so i hope that that video was a little something something that you could use or that you're already using it and you're sharing it out because we all need to take heed to some of the things that we do with our food intake right so and it's it's my whole idea behind this channel was to show wellness eating healthy fitness all of that so i'm just trying to revamp this channel i'm trying to keep everything within nine to eight to ten minutes so guys i hope you've enjoyed and i hope you're going to share it out so thank you so much for joining me today please be sure to like comment and subscribe to the channel click that notification bell click it guys so you'll be notified of all my videos when they're uploaded share me out because sharing is caring and if you are not subscribed to the channel what are you waiting for you're going to absolutely love it here at eat to live strong and i would love to have you so please subscribe to the channel also don't forget your girl has membership be sure to check out the perks and if it's something that you want to be involved with smash that join button and become a member i would love to have you as a member as well don't forget that tomorrow marks day one of the 21 day fitness challenge the new one so come on and get with me on this fitness challenge we all should love ourselves to health so guys as i always say at the end of each and every one of my videos god bless you see you next time love you long time bye i have ms but ms don't have me i walk the walk and i am blessed I walk the walk and I am blessed. See you guys on tomorrow for Thankful Thursday. That'll be day 242. Have a great one. Bye.